We produced this video to introduce and demonstrate our new filter that we developed for home brewers that can be custom built to your size requirements. False bottoms have been around for as long as we can remember, however we have not had such favorable results using a false bottom. Two of the worst experiences are poor filtering that result in pump clogs as well as grain cleanout at the end of the mash process. Ease of use is always so important to home brewers and that is exactly what we set out to produce, is a grain filter that is effective, easy to clean, and something that the home brewer will agree was money well spent. The size of the filter will depend on your own requirements, however you can see here how easy this concept is to interact with. The material used in the filter construction is 304 stainless steel with perforations much the same as the material false bottoms are produced with. The perforations that we use are slightly smaller but there is much more surface area to filter through. Adding grain to your mash tun is exactly the same as it would be if you were using a false bottom. As you can see the filter contains all of your grain for the mashing process. The mashing process remains the same. Add your water and hold your temperature. Once your mash is finished and you are transferring your new wort to the boil kettle, this is one area that the filter really shines in performance. Whether you are using gravity or a pump, you will have free flowing wort transfer with minimal trube. The sparging process remains the same. Cleanup is easy and requires minimal effort. Simply pick up on the filter handles and drop into a bucket. Let the grain stand for a few minutes in your bucket to cool and drain. Then simply pick up on the filter and dump your spent grain. No more messy excavation jobs to clean the grain out of your mash tun. To get your filter ready for the boil kettle to use as a hop filter, simply rinse with clean water and drop your filter into the kettle. Now you are ready for the wort boil and addition of whole hops or hop pellets. This will eliminate the use of messy hop filter bags or homemade hop spiders. Once the boil is finished, moving your wort into the fermenter is again a simple process and the majority of the hops will be filtered out and remains in the bottom of the filter for easy removal and cleanup.